Hey, it's Mike over at uh, FisherAssOff.com and today's fishing class, you know, these how-to videos that we do uh, targeting certain species of fish around Florida. Uh, the one we're going to talk about today is how to catch a permit. Permit are real fun to catch. Uh, if you've never caught a permit, they, um, they put up a heck of a fight. And you can find them all over the place. Uh, I don't think they get too far north. Not really sure, but I think they, they need the more temperate waters. You sure seem to catch a lot of them uh, from the middle of the state down. You know, I don't really hear about too many people catching them uh, further up uh, in, in, the, in the state. You know, maybe in the middle of summer, I guess they might travel up that far. But for the most part, a warm water fish. Uh, real fun to catch. Uh, they're actually pretty good to eat, too. Um, you know, their cousin is a, is a, is a pompano, and uh, pompano are great to eat, so... But let's go ahead and talk about how to catch them because they're definitely worth catching. All right, how to catch a permit. So first of all, you got to figure out what your quarry likes. What do permit like? Well, they like to eat crustaceans. They like, uh, they like crabs and shrimp. Uh, they eat fish too. They eat bait fish. Uh, when I've caught all mine that I've ever caught, I've caught them on the grass flats. Usually a grass flat that borders uh, next to some sort of sandbar or something like that. Uh, some sort of uh, drop off, same place where you would target a um, a pompano, actually. Um, so, so they're very similar in nature, except the uh, the permit get a lot bigger. Offshore, you can find them around wrecks and reefs. Uh, those are typically the bigger ones. Those uh, nice thirty pound, you know, big guys that are out there. Uh, a lot of times if it's real calm, you can see them just uh, swimming in a circle over top of the wreck. Uh, so, they, so they give themselves away um, <laughs> where they are a lot of times when they're out on the wrecks and reefs. But that's another great place to uh, target permit, uh, the bigger ones anyways. Seems like the smaller ones are, are inshore on the sandbars and grass flats up around the, um, you know, the mangroves uh, up, in, up in the uh, you know, more inshore type fishing. Um, as far as catching them, and again, you know, I, 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 I have a lot of friends that fish. Uh, some people love to catch them fly fishing in all these different ways. Um, these are basically the only two ways I've ever caught them. Is with a, a blue crab, you know, a small little blue crab, like maybe like this, hooked in the side, tossed out, you know, over top of uh, uh, a reef um, in Florida Bay, actually, is the only way as far as uh, uh, fishing with the crabs uh, that I've caught them. Uh, the ones I catch around here, you know, in the intercoastal waterway, I almost always catch them on a shrimp. Uh, and again, it's a shrimp uh, usually where some sort of sandbar borders with a grass flat. So you know, they, they, they want to have some sand around that they can kind of root around in. Uh, they have four nostrils, so that tells you something about them. That tells you that their olfactory system is one of the main senses that they're going to use to find their bait. Yeah, so you want a stinky bait. You want something they can smell. Because uh, I, I believe that they focus more on smelling where their bait is than they do seeing where their bait is. Uh, and also their lateral line. You know, all these fish, they feel the vibrations in the water. That's kind of like their ears. So feeling the bait, smelling the bait, seeing the bait, you know, that's, that's how these fish are going to find their prey. They're in the jack family, so they're a heck of a fighter. Uh, jack Creval, um, Pompano, you know, they're all, they're all related. As far as the lures used, caught them on scented, um, uh, you know, like a, 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 a shrimp-bodied, scented bait. Uh, I know that people have caught them on all kinds of different scented baits, but I typically fish with a with a shrimp, a scented shrimp body um, when I catch them. Uh, gold spoons. You know, gold spoons put out lots of vibrations, real shiny, easy to see. You catch them on that. Jigs. I like a soft plastic type jig or a feather type jig, you know, brightly colored. Uh, for whatever reason, they seem to like brighter colors, uh, but you can catch a uh, permit on them too. Uh, I know people have caught them on stick baits, lots of different things. You know, like I said before, uh, a lot of fly fishermen target them too. So, so obviously they, they'll hit a lot of baits. You know, they're a hungry jack. 
uh, type fish. So, so they'll, they'll hit just about anything uh, when they're feeding. But they're a real fun fish to catch. You should definitely target them at some point. Uh, smaller ones you can eat, they're pretty tasty. Uh, but I, I usually catch them just for fun. They're, they're, they're a fun fish to catch. And uh, actually you can learn more about this on our website. Our website is www.fishyourassoff.com. We have a how-to section, which is you know how to target whatever species you're looking for. A where-to section tells you uh, where to go to target these various species throughout Florida. Uh, we have a what-to section, which fish you might want to target. Uh, we have videos, not tying videos, all kinds of things on there. So it's definitely a good resource, uh, educational resource, if you want to learn how to catch some more fish. But uh, yeah, I think I covered just about everything I want to cover today. So, so that's it. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.